Sunsets in New Mexico rarely disappoint. No wonder they call this the land of enchantment. But you ain't seen nothing yet. Up in the mountains down near Alamogordo, the big telescope at Apache Point Observatory starts to swing into action. And once it gets dark, watch out. A powerful laser beam shoots into the sky, aimed at the moon. Pew, pew, pew! The reason? Thank the folks who walked up there. I was strolling on the moon one day. Along with picking up rocks and planting flags and hitting golf balls, they left a few things behind. Laser reflector is installed. That right there, about the size of a laptop, is a reflector, which a laser beam is hitting tonight. Pew, pew! Dr. Russett McMillan is an astronomer here and operates the laser. We find that they weren't perfect. That could have major implications for... Amazing that three U.S. lunar landing missions left reflectors on the moon. Since these are the only pieces of scientific equipment left on the moon that are still in use, because they don't require any power, they must have thought that that was a pretty good investment over time. And you'll be happy to know the moon is fulfilling its gravitational obligations, though it is slipping away a bit each year, about an inch and a half. There was one last thing on our laser wish list. Okay, Harry, if you press that big green button, right. it will let the laser light out into the sky. It doesn't go pew, pew, pew or anything. It went clack, 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 but you couldn't hear it. It was pretty quiet. Sadly, the sober business of measuring the moon's distance from the Earth does not sound like a video game. Still, very cool. For Sunday Today, Harry Smith, Sunspot, New Mexico.